On a crisp autumn morning in 2009, deep in the heart of Oklahoma's rugged Sam Waugh Mountains, the unsettling discovery of a white pickup truck kicked off a strange and twisted mystery that still remains unsolved to this day. This true story involves witchcraft, the occult, ghosts, and even possibly murder. Inside the truck were the belongings of the missing Jameson family, Bobby, Sherilyn, and their six-year-old daughter, Madison. Join me as we investigate this eerie disappearance, and be sure to stay to the end. You won't believe the twisted conclusion that would baffle investigators, haunt the tight-knit community, and raise dark suspicions that continue to linger to this day. To say the Jameson family was your typical suburb family would be stretching it a bit. Times were tough for the family. Bobby and Cheryl Lynn were both out of work and living off of disability checks. Cheryl Lynn suffered from bipolar disorder and had been prescribed medication, but since her condition was poorly controlled, she often experienced bouts of severe depression. Bobby was in a car accident in 2003 and suffered from chronic back pain. On top of that, the family had a reputation of being, let's say, a little less than honest. They were involved in a few lawsuits, including against Bobby's own father, who Bobby claimed owed him money after he worked for his father's gas station, unpaid for years. In fact, Bobby had a restraining order against his dad, claiming his father had threatened his family's lives. The Jameson family also had an interest in the occult and witchcraft. Cheryl Lynn appeared to practice witchcraft, and one of her books on the topic was found in the truck with the rest of her belongings. A friend of Cheryl Lynn told the police that she sometimes conducted seances with Cheryl Lynn, and she was very much into the occult. Cheryl Lynn had also written graffiti on their storage container about her black cats being poisoned, as she believed that someone in the neighborhood had killed her cats, and that witches did not like it when their cats were killed. The family also claimed that their house was haunted by two to four ghosts. In the months leading up to their disappearance, Bobby and Cheryl Lynn would complain to family and friends about the increasing paranormal activity at their home. They would see strange shadows and hear eerie noises in the dead of night. It was said that family and friends would also experience this strange activity. It got so bad that the family sought help from their local priest, who came out and investigated the home. Upon questioning Bobby, Bobby admitted to reading a copy of the Satanic Bible. The priest warned Bobby of the dangers of inviting such things into his home. The priest blessed the house and left. He would later report to investigators that he had noted that the couple's behavior was erratic and agitated. Apparently, after all the activity at their old house, the couple was looking for a fresh start and a simple lifestyle. They were interested in living off-grid in the Oklahoma wilderness. Their goal was to purchase a 40-acre plot of land in the mountains. On October 8, 2009, Bobby and Cheryl Lynn, along with their six-year-old daughter Madison and her dog, set out to view the property. A surveillance video from a camera on their property captured the family's last moments before they vanished forever. In the video, Bobby and Cheryl Lynn appear to be moving slowly and deliberately, loading the truck with boxes and belongings. Some say that they look like they were in a trance, but to me, the video is too low res to really tell this. I'll let you decide what you think. Two of the items that they loaded up were a brown briefcase and a 22 handgun. More on those later. The family piled into their pickup truck and set out on their trip, never to return home again. When they arrived at the land, Bobby and Cheryl Lynn visited with the landowner. When the meeting was done, the family parked up by the shipping container that they had purchased and already moved to the land and went for a short walk for around 15 minutes, taking their GPS unit and found a quiet spot on a hillside, according to the data recovered from that GPS. After they returned to their vehicle, they drove a little further and then, with the truck left locked in the middle of a dirt track, they vanished. During their initial absence, none of their friends and family felt any cause for concern. Bobby and Cheryl Lynn were known to fall off the radar from time to time, and Madison had already been pulled out of school. Eight days after their departure, the Jameson's pickup truck was discovered by a group of hunters. It was parked on a remote area of the San Bois Mountains, far from the main road and surrounded by a dense forest. Inside the vehicle were the family's personal items, wallets, IDs, 
Cheryl Lynn's purse, clothing, a GPS, a map, a cell phone, and $32,000 in cash, along with their starving dog. The family wasn't known for carrying that amount of cash on them. And being that the couple were both on disability, the large amount of money was strange. Was it to buy the land or something more sinister? Remember that 22 pistol in that brown briefcase? Strangely, they were not found in that truck. But found in that truck was an 11-page hate letter from Cheryl Lynn to Bobby. She said that he didn't care about his daughter. She listed all the things she hated about Bobby, including that he was a loner and a hermit, and she wrote that she wanted a divorce. During their initial investigations, the police found no sign of a struggle, either in the vehicle or on the soft ground around the truck. There was no blood and no broken glass, although rubbish was strewn around the truck. Adding to the eeriness of the discovery was a set of photographs found inside the truck. They depicted the family in seemingly happy times, but one of the photos stood out. A picture of Madison, looking agitated, with a strange shadow figure lurking in the background. It was an image that sent shivers down the spines of investigators and observers alike. Authorities were immediately alerted, and a search of the area was launched. Latimer County authorities first thought the truck had been stolen, but soon realized that something far more sinister had taken place. They launched a huge search operation and combed the area with over 400 volunteers, horses, mules, ATVs, 16 teams of cadaver dogs, and an unmanned drone. They found nothing. During the searches, the cadaver dog teams reportedly found scents near a nearby water tower, which was promptly drained though no evidence concerning the missing family could be found. The baffling disappearance of the Jameson family ignited a firestorm of speculation and theories, each more chilling than the last. As investigators combed through the evidence and interviewed family and friends, several theories emerged. Drug involvement. Some speculated that the Jamesons had become involved in the dangerous world of drugs. The remote location where the truck was found was notorious for illicit activities. It was suggested that their erratic behavior and alleged encounters with supernatural entities might have been induced by drug use. However, no concrete evidence linking them to drug-related activities were ever found. Family Feud Others pointed to the strained relationship between Bobby and Cheryl Lynn. Could a heated argument have escalated to violence? Friends had reported witnessing intense fights between the couple, but nothing to suggest that they were capable of harming Madison or even themselves. Others believed Bobby's dad, Bob Dean Jameson, was involved somehow. In the protective order filed in April 2009, Bobby alleged that his father had intentionally hit him with a car on November 1st, 2008, and that he was a very dangerous man who thinks he's above the law. Bobby's father died two months after the family went missing in December 2009 at the age of 64, and Bobby's uncle, Jack Jameson, said Bobby's dad was either in a hospital or a rest home at the time of the disappearance. Cult involvement. The most haunting theory was that the family was possibly involved with a cult. Interest in the occult fueled this speculation. Could they have been manipulated by a charismatic cult leader, lured into the wilderness, and met a tragic end at the hands of a group with sinister intentions? Sherilyn's mother claimed that her daughter, son-in-law, and granddaughter were on an Oklahoma cult hit list after she received an anonymous phone tip. Supernatural Forces Given the family's claim of being haunted, some believed that a malevolent spirit or entity might have played a role in their disappearance. The family's priests told police during the initial investigation that the family had been involved in spiritual warfare, that both Bobby and Cheryl Lynn had told him that they had seen spirits in their home. Many speculated that the couple got in over their heads and perhaps conjured up forces they could not control. For years, the case of the Jameson family remained unsolved, haunting the small community and baffling investigators. Then, on November 16, 2013, just 2.7 miles from where the truck was located, deer hunters discovered the skeletal remains of two adults and one child. DNA analysis confirmed the remains belonged to Bobby, Cheryl Lynn, and Little Madison Jameson. The discovery raised more questions than answers, though. 
How had they ended up in the mountains, miles from their truck, and why had they perished in such a desolate place? The area was extremely remote, and the three bodies were severely decomposed, and the remains consisted of three skulls, a number of bones and bone fragments, the victim's shoes and some scraps of clothing. They were found, face down, all lying in a row. The skeletal remains provided no obvious signs of foul play. There were no gunshot wounds, stab wounds, or indications of violence, though one of the skulls, that of Bobby, had a small hole that was initially suspected as being a bullet wound. Later, the police dropped this line of inquiry. Autopsies revealed no clear cause of death, leaving the question of what happened to them unanswered. After again searching the area where the bodies were found, no sign of that brown briefcase or 22 were ever found. Furthermore, the condition of the remains suggested a timeline that puzzled investigators. The family appeared to have died shortly after they disappeared in 2009, yet the area where the remains were found had been thoroughly searched multiple times. When questioned why the initial search had found nothing, investigators told reporters that falling leaves potentially obscured the bodies. I don't buy this, though. Today, the mysterious death of the Jameson family continues to perplex and haunt those who dare to delve into its details. The case remains officially unsolved, and the questions surrounding their disappearance and ultimate demise have only deepened. Theories abound, but concrete answers remain elusive. Were they victims of a tragic accident? Did they just wander off into the wild and succumb to exposure in the unforgiving wilderness? Or was there a sinister force at play, one that eluded the scrutiny of investigators and continues to lurk in the shadows of those mountains? We may never know. What are your thoughts and theories? Let me know in the comments below. If you have a strange paranormal story you want to be made into a video, you can submit it by email to broadcaster7 at thenightsignal.com. The Night Signal now has a merchandise store, so if you're dying to get a hold of a Night Signal t-shirt or hoodie, you can click the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Your support helps keep the Night Signal broadcasting. And as always, this is Broadcaster 7. Stay spooky out there.